Happy birthday! I ain't got time for these niggas. Better throw a watch at the door. Have my boys in this bitch looking like a seminar. Talk to you, motherfucker, boy. I ain't got time. I am not a peer mediator. I want to make that very clear. But Parker thinks I can solve all his emotional problems, which is why he invited me over before the big conversation. The big conversation I'm referring to was with Kib and the fact that Parker loves his girlfriend. Ooh. So you just went out and actually bought a Lego set. Oh yeah. Can we go over what you're gonna say to Kib? Like, do I just tell him that I'm, I'm sorry? Do I tell him that I, like, I, I stop and I, I don't... You know, good for Parker though. It takes someone strong to push themselves away from the person they love. And it takes a similar strength to want to be friends with somebody that loves your girlfriend. I'm still kind of angry at Parker, but you know, I think if we just talk and I can just get everything out, maybe it'll, he'll back off and we can just move forward as friends and not have to be so pissed off with the situation. Yeah, I think you're definitely being the bigger man. Parker's a small man. Yeah. So you're already by nature a bigger man. He's got the but biggest forehead, to be fair. Very fair, I must admit. To prep for the conversation, I had Parker go through with everything he was gonna say to Kip. <sighs> I gotta get like the disappointed mode. I can't help the way that I feel. And Shave I- Shave your fucking eyebrows. Like I wanna be friends with you and I want to um, make sure that you guys are, are good and happy and like the most important thing to me is that you both are happy and if that's together that's okay. I was hoping by the time he talked to Kib he would have cleaned the booger out of his left nostril. I also didn't want him to bring his Legos but I wasn't going to be too hopeful. Yeah I think yeah. you legitimately nailed it and all it takes is a couple words and Kib's gonna be just sound asleep. You ever seen Guardians of the Galaxy? Can you stop spilling water? Sorry dude, I'm just really distraught about the situation. Alright man, don't think I'm not interested because I'm eating this burrito because I am very interested but I just think Oh, really good, actually. Sorry, I just fell asleep for a second. What are you saying? Um, good, good burrito. Yeah, I mean, dude, if, if anybody ever liked Lauren, like one of you guys likes Lauren like that, mm -hmm. you know, I would be pissed. No, yeah, I mean, I had to nip that in the bud pretty recently, too. There's one question that's been in my mind with Parker forever. And with everything that's happened recently, I figured there's never been a better time to ask him. If, if I could be so, so bold as to, to inquire, what do you think a vagina looks like? Ooh, good question. Parker leaves it up to the imagination. I think you're doing the right thing. I really do. Yeah. Have you ever even, like, sorry, this is funny to me. Have you ever talked to Sammy Joe? It's just you're so invested in this person who you... I mean, like, we've texted back and forth, and it's not... We haven't, like... Been... You te... Huh? What? You have, a, you have a number? What? Did you, say, that... you say you said something first? Are you asking a question? Fuck, talking to you is the worst. Before we left to meet up at the office with Kib, I made Parker vow to change. It's not me anymore. Parker was ready. Surprisingly though, Kib wasn't ready at all. In fact, he was the most nervous any of us have ever seen him. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel a little bit better. I feel a little more rested, that's for sure. You can never sleep unless she's on top of me, Alfredo. Did you know it's pronounced Yilinhulin, not Gyllenhaal? Oh, sorry, I meant pot stickers. I have to admit, I think Parker was pretty nervous too, on account of the fact that he backed up into his neighbor's garage, but that's a legal battle for another day. Hey man. Party's here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want to uh, maybe just like give us a second to talk? Oh, God. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I'll go over here. Thanks. Autumn, don't uh, listen to whatever they're saying. Super awkward. Don't listen to what they're saying. Can you hear us, Autumn, by chance? Yeah. Hey. It's nice to meet you, by the way. It feels like just a couple minutes. We won't like make too long. Absolutely. Cool. And after that, I don't know what was said. I figured it's not my place to eavesdrop. These are my best friends. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. I set up a, a microphone in the room. I'm just gonna say, dude, I know that you have feelings for Sammy Joe, and uh, I wanted to talk to you about it because I, I feel like you're someone that, you know, I, I respect you're my friend, and I don't want anything to come between us. But at the same time, it's like, you just can't, you just can't, dude. Yeah. Like, I haven't even told her, but I love her, dude, a lot. And like this, what's happening between us is like fucking me up, man. I, I, I wanted to, to say something. Um, I consider you one of my best friends, but at the, at the same time, I cannot help myself and it kills me because like, 
the, the guilt and like the friendship, like you mean so much to me and it's so hard to just like- If I really meant something to you, you wouldn't do this. I, because, you know I, what, I, I get that, man, but at the same time, like Sammy Joe, it, it means more to me than anything in the whole world. Like, like she is, is everything. I, I can't stop thinking about her. Like she, like she is the, wo the woman that I would like to just spend time with. I mean, even just time, even just to, to be with Parker, her. Parker, you don't think that I feel the exact same way and that's why she's my girlfriend? And I that's why that. I totally get that. And, and it would be so hard if, if he was on the opposite side or if you were seeing this from my situation. No, you know what, it, it wouldn't be like that. If I was in your situation, I'd back off because that's not what friends do. Yeah. Maybe we're not friends then. I'm gonna go. I think you should. Hey, 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 what the fuck was that? You're not supposed I to be- I can't, I can't do this right now, Steve. You told me to Steve, I can't do this right now. Is this it? Is this it? Is this where we end? I don't know, man. I just gotta go right now. I'm at a point in my life where I don't really add new friends to my circle, especially in LA, so it feels a lot more devastating when I lose a friend now than it did in the past. But times change, people change. I don't blame Parker for loving Sammy Joe, and I don't blame him for standing up for what he believes in. But Kib's my best friend, and I have his back no matter what. It's gonna be weird not having Parker around. I know we always rip on him because of the way he is, but we like the way he is. Well, was. <laughs>